Thank you for joining us for the Ministry of the Word at Redeemed Christian Fellowship in Phoenix, Arizona. We hope the Ministry of the Word will be a blessing to you. Hello, this is Pastor Walter Martinez. I'm standing in for Debbie Gephardt. Hi, Debbie. Uh, hello, Debbie. <laughs> I got Monica and Rebecca here with me, and uh, I'm the uh, the boss standing in with with for Monica. I mean for Debbie. Sorry. <laughs> These guys make me so nervous. <laughs> they're, they're so anointed. So I'm kind of like feeling like, should I even be here amongst this uh, oh caliber God. of believers? <laughs> Wow. Okay, today we are teaching on, uh, <laughs> what was it, Monica, do you remember? The Spirit Life, Volume 2, and, and we're teaching on Spiritually Enhanced Words. Oh, praise God. Okay. Okay. Just say it, Monica. Okay, your turn, Monica. <laughs> so I'm reading the, the points? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Jesus. Do you want to pray, sir? I think we need to. Yes, we do. Father God, we just want to thank you for... Your presence, and we thank you for the Holy Ghost, Father. We thank you for uh, the joy that comes yes, uh, with being able to study your word together. Uh, we are just so grateful. We're just believing you, Father God, to open up our hearts, open up our minds, mm -hmm. uh, that we might receive from the Holy Ghost and, uh, and feed on the word of God and benefit from it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Okay. We are spiritual beings designed to function as members of a spiritual house. We're going to read John 6, 63 through 64. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives life. That which is of the natural realm is of no help. The words I speak to you are spirit and life, but there are still some of you who won't believe. In fact, Jesus already knew from the beginning who the skeptics were and who his traitor would be. Mm. Wow. Mm. Do you want to... Okay, the Spirit gives life, <laughs> the very life of God. Amen. Uh, our spirits have a unique ability uh, to transmit the life of God, which is a really powerful thing, because when it talks about that um, the Spirit gives life, it's talking about the Spirit of God that resides within you, that every time you speak, it produces life, if the person is listening by faith. Amen and have a love and an honor for the Word of God, their life will change because the Word of God will change them. That change is because of the life of God that is flowing out of the believer as he, as he speaks. Mm. It's very important that we, we get that. I think, I think that uh, this coming year, uh, in January, I think, that part of our goal should be, what do they say, like do some kind of New Year's resolution. resolution, some kind of resolution, that we will be more um, uh, uh, comprehensive in our own minds and hearts as to the power of the Word of God and the life that flows out of it. Um, uh, uh, the Spirit gives Amen. life, the very life of God. Uh, the Spirit has, that again, that unique ability to transmit the life of God. Um, it is the Spirit of God that reveals to us God's will. Amen. Always, or largely, through the Word. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the Spirit of God can give you revelation as to direction or give you revelation, uh, even in the Scriptures, obviously. But um, if what you're receiving is not compatible to the Word of God, then you're missing it. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, even if you, uh, you know, even if you have certain prejudice or whatever, you know, uh, you were taught as a young person. Uh, I think Debbie said something about they never, they were taught that, um, uh, I don't want to misquote her, but they were taught against speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the Word of God is so clear on speaking in tongues. And, and uh, so you can see that she was being uh, taught wrong. Mm -hmm. So there was never no experience with that mm -hmm. there. So uh, that's the damage when you don't rightly divide the Word of God. Uh, there's just a lot of things. Uh, but anyways, the Spirit of God will always reveal the truth. A lot of that truth comes to Scripture 
or or through revelation or insight, but it always will agree with the written word. Mm -hmm. So you have to remember that. Because a lot of people get revelation, and they say, well, God said, uh, but uh, there's nothing to substantiate it. You can okay. say a lot of stuff, but be careful that it, that it you know, it's in the Word. Um, go ahead, Monica, you take over. Okay. <clears throat> um, as we lend our tongue to the Spirit of God and begin to speak out of our spirits, the life of God begins to flow out of our spirits, and anyone or everyone that receives these words can be changed, helped, and delivered. There will always be those who are aware of the anointing on the believer's life that cannot connect the anointing to the words proceeding out of God's people. They are skeptical, and depending on their degree of their skepticism, they can only receive so much. Mm. Knowing this, our faith in what the Spirit of God speaks to us must be spoken out of our inward man. Uh, never let the skepticism of individuals sway your mandate to speak the word of God as it is given to you, for they will produce life in those that will receive it. Amen. That's something you got to really be careful, is that idea of being skeptical. Yeah. Uh, because there's a lot in the word of God that, uh, to the natural man, is impossible. Mm -hmm. It just, It just can't happen. Right. I mean, seriously, the... The way the natural man views things, uh, uh, you know, that's without, when I say the natural man, I'm talking about even the believer that does not have the injection of faith mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to believe what the Word of God says. Uh, they view life as very, very impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, like if they're sick or something, they'll view, they'll always talk about that sickness and they'll always glorify that sickness without realizing it. Yeah. Uh, because they talk about, I have this, I have that, I have this. Instead of, I mean, what do you have to lose? Uh, speak the Word of God over your life and, and connect it to, the, to your faith. Make sure your heart is connected to what you're saying um, in, in, in that area of conviction. Amen. And receive what God has for you. Because if you don't, you're going to stay stagnant. And it doesn't mean God doesn't love you. It just means that you're responsible for receiving yeah. the Word of God. You're responsible for believing the Word of God. God's responsible for the miracles. Yeah, that's good. He'll do His part if you'll do yours. If you can just remember that, because, and, and uh, just as a caution, uh, uh, be careful about your feelings. Mm -hmm. Because feelings, man, feelings just mm -hmm. never feel like you're going anywhere, or anything's right. changing or happening, that's feelings. Mm -hmm. And whenever you start leaning towards those feelings and get that frustration with those feelings, then you're, you're, you're hindering God from moving in your life. Yeah. In the Old Testament, they said they hindered the Holy One of Israel. Yeah. How do they hinder Him? Well, if you remember in, in uh, uh, Numbers chapter 13, mm -hmm. They said, you know, we are grasshoppers in their sight. You yeah. know, talking about uh, the people in the promised land that God had promised them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it hindered God. God was grieved by that. Mm -hmm. They never, that generation never made it into the promised land mm -hmm. because of the way they were talking. All had to do with the way they were viewing things. Then you had Joshua and Caleb that were completely different in the way that they spoke out of their convictions. They obviously had been in the Word, and, and that's, when I say the Word, they've been in the Law. Right. And even in the promises of the Law, they were benefiting from that. It raised their faith to such a level mm -hmm. that they seen uh, defeat as an impossible thing. Where the rest, that's so the whole nation, ten uh, powerful leaders were all defeated because they didn't, see the word that was promised them, they didn't receive it by faith. And it, it just it caused them a lot of problems. And it, they Obviously, they died in the wilderness. We don't want to die no, uh, in a situation that is, uh, has got us uh, or that has given us trouble. We don't want to die like that. Mm -hmm. We just have to believe God. And the reason why we don't advance a lot of times, uh, well, two reasons. The devil hates you. You gotta right. know that. Yeah. <laughs> and he's always trying to just mess you up. Mm -hmm. 
And two, uh, people uh, can't stop leaning on their feelings. Yeah. And their emotions, their feelings are telling them where they're at in life. Only your heart that has been washed with the Word of God can produce the convictions of faith mm. that says, God cannot be denied in my life. Mm -hmm. I have what God said I have, despite what you're seeing. Yeah. And it's that language that the emotions in the mind really struggle with because they need physical evidence. Mm -hmm. But when you stop and realize that the Bible promotes spiritual evidence, heart evidence, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not physical evidence. Mm -hmm. That's where we get the scripture to you walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. I'm going, I'm Shh. getting carried away. You guys That's good. okay. Shh. Keep yeah. on. <laughs> Debbie's going to fire me once. No. Uh, no. You're no. a boss. You're a boss, boss. <laughs> Okay, what are we at? Are uh, we John fourteen ten. Go for it. In the Amplified. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not say on my own initiative or authority, authority, but the Father, abiding continually in me, does his works, his attesting miracles and acts of power. And then, what's TPT? The Passion Translation. Okay, the Passion Translation. Yeah, read that one. That's good. Don't you believe that the Father is living in me and that I am living in the Father? Even my words are not my own, but come from my Father. Oh, that's good. For he lives in me and performs his miracles of power through me. <laughs> I like how you stopped the scripture. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Amen. It was, wasn't it? It was. It was good. Hey, we have to realize that spiritually... Uh, Induced words are that are authorized by the Holy Ghost when they are released out of our spirit produce miracles. miracles. Mm. So you have to lend your voice, mm -hmm. your tongue, uh, your words to your spirit. Mm -hmm. That means you're speaking out of conviction. Right. Mm. Amen. So when you that's what produces miracles. Yeah. Uh, now. Uh, the stronger you're in there, the faster miracles will come. Mm -hmm. The less you're there. Because a lot of times people are saying the right things. They're just not convinced of it. Mm -hmm. They'll say it, and a few minutes later, their, their mind's wandering, their emotions are wandering, they feel like crying and dying. Maybe, maybe that's too much. but It's uh, uh, pretty accurate. It gets, it gets pretty torturous <laughs> after a while. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Uh, I've been there. I can. That's what I'm saying. It's accurate. I, you know. I think we've all been there to some degree. So yeah. that's an extremely important concept mm -hmm. because Jesus never said anything that wasn't helpful, in, instructional, and beneficial to the believer. Mm -hmm. So if he makes these kind of statements, he starts off, "Don't you believe?" That's faith in action. Yeah. Don't you believe that God, that the Father is living in me? Well, I can say the same thing to you. Don't you believe that the Father, through the person of the Holy Ghost, is living in you? Mm. Mm -hmm. I do believe it. Amen. Well, if you believe it, <laughs> amen, then amen. what's the problem? Nothing. No, there's there no problem. There shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way Monica looks at me with big old bug eyes. I'm just staying quiet. <laughs> oh my. I say that because a lot of times we can all check ourselves and say, hey, you know, what is the problem? Yeah, exactly. Why do I keep reverting back to mm -hmm. thinking or feeling like this mm -hmm. when... Because I don't know if you wanted uh, if you wanted uh, ice cream in your refrigerator and you knew it was in there and you had a strong desire for ice cream and you because you've been believing God for an ice cream not that you could pig out or anything but just have some ice cream once right, in a while right. that's fine mm -hmm. and uh, moderation but yeah. <laughs> but so why would you desire that ice cream say Lord God thank you for that ice cream and then go and then go. Uh, and then start feeling like, I don't have any ice cream. But it's in your refrigerator all the time. 
Then wouldn't that be silly? Yeah. yeah. See how silly people act, or we act sometimes? <laughs> I include myself because I just do just to be nice to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. We all, we all get it. there from time to time. Yes. Right? But uh. the, the, the key is, can you catch it and overcome it? That's right. good. That's and then, good. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where I'm a lot, where I'm good at. I can always catch my thinking because no one's exempt. The devil's going to put thoughts in that's your head. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and not only the devil, but the, 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 the sin nature that's supposed to be dead will always bring these things up. Uh, mm -hmm. Just the very nature of, 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 of humanity will just bring it up. Uh, and, you, you know, and then not only that, you got people talking all around you. You got a television set that, that is strictly speaks devil language. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> it's devil language, man. It's like straight from the. the, the devil, no. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it. But, oh. but thank you. <laughs> I mean, these people are so full of doubt and unbelief, it's not yeah. even funny. And not only that, they're rebellious. Mm. Uh, okay, let's go on. Not a good combination. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> okay. So where am I at? I right here. Lost. We already know. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, we already know that chapter 6, that in chapter 6 he said, the words that I speak are spirit and life. Mm. So it is not unreasonable to conclude that everything Jesus spoke was authorized by the mm. Holy Ghost so that when we, so that when he spoke out his, spoke out of his spirit, the very life-giving, miracle-working power of God was released. Amen. Mm. Listen, that is contained in two elements. The Word of God and the Spirit of God. Mm. And it takes faith to function in both. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Another Jesus. scripture. Someone want to read that? Go for it. Second Corinthians 3.6 who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. That's powerful. Thank you, Jesus. Notice how the Word and the Spirit are related. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So, so, the one that gives you revelation, the one that, that brings you the Word, that, that when the Word comes... Uh, the one that brings that magnification uh, uh, of the Word, mm -hmm. uh, that's the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So when the Holy Ghost is involved in the ministry of the Word, or even the sharing of the Word, uh, when He's involved in that, it brings revelation. When that revelation is believed and then acted on, you can't yeah. forget that. Yeah. Once it's acted on, Shh. miracles happen. Shh. Amen. Amen. There's no other way mm -hmm. it can happen. Act. It, see, this is what we got to settle in our minds. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It can't work no other way. That's right. Because the devil will come and say, what about if you don't get healed? No, no, no. It will not work no other way. Yeah, right. that's right. Amen. What I said will come to pass, as the scripture says. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I'm speaking spirit and faith words. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. The words that God gave Jesus, mm -hmm. the words that he spoke, came from the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Came from the Spirit of the living God, which made Jesus the living word. Amen. 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 And so, uh, glory be to God. Because remember, he came... Uh, he came and gave up his position in heaven as God. He still remained God, but he gave that up right. uh, to become a man so he could die for humanity's sins. So mm -hmm. what he did, he did under the anointing. Mm -hmm. What he said, he said under the anointing. He said, the words that I speak, they come from my Father. Mm -hmm. the, the, the things that I do, I see my Father do so than I do. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to understand the connection between the Holy Ghost, the Word, and Jesus. Yeah. And then you got to understand, mm -hmm. where do I fit in and all that? Mm -hmm. 
this, you are part of, we are the part of the body of Christ, which means, isn't that an interesting term, body of Christ? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are a body, which means we represent Jesus here on earth. Yeah. We can speak these life-giving words. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they're not just life-giving in nat as a natural life. We're talking about the life of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where there's health, healing, happiness, joy, mm -hmm. comfort. Uh, all these things that you find in the Holy Ghost, that you found in Jesus, you can have in your own life. Amen. Because you receive the Word. Yeah. Amen. He's the one that said, He's the one that said, uh, 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 have faith in God. Yeah. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast in the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believes whatsoever things he says, he sh that he shall have whatsoever things he says. Something like that. I yeah, butchered up yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there you got it. So when you stand praying, mm -hmm, uh -huh. uh, believe that you receive, and you shall have whatsoever you say. Yes. Why does he tell you to do that? Because he's trying to teach you to speak the word of life, to make that transitional move mm -hmm. from natural to spiritual. Amen. Mm -hmm. and so as long as you're speaking out of your heart, out of that conviction, you cannot fail. God did not design the Bible-believing Christian to fail. Amen. So when I say that, I'm saying, do you really believe mm -hmm. the Scriptures? Wow. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because the circumstances will defy everything that God wants you to do. Right. And it's just a matter of you looking at it and letting the devil wear you out. Mm -hmm. Letting the circumstances wear you out. Because he does that. When Jesus would heal people in the synagogue, and what would the devil do? He'd throw them on the ground, and they would stay there. And the scripture says, in that hour they were healed. That means there for a time there, they were throwing a fit. Mm -hmm. And the devil was, was tearing them, was trying to destroy yeah. them. Right. But then they just snapped out of it. Why? Because the devil knows he has to obey the command of God. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He has to. Now, we should know that. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Christian should, excuse me, the Christian should know that. Mm -hmm. The Christian should know that the right. devil has to obey. Sickness has to obey. Yes. Disease has to obey the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Don't get stuck on time. Mm -hmm. Right. And calendars. Mm -hmm. Just speak the Word and let God's power do the rest. Amen. It, the devil has to go. It can't work no other way. That's right. Sickness has to go. Poverty has to go. It can't work no other way. Right. Now, he'll hinder you, especially if you're a threat mm -hmm. uh, to him. That right. is, if you influence more people, mm -hmm. he'll hit you harder. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yep. But, and just to make you unhappy, mm -hmm. he'll hit you. But he'll hit those that are, that are preaching the gospel harder. Because he can't afford for them. Because a Christian that preaches the Word of God uh, in, under an anointing, under uh, the correct way, by, with a heart filled of faith, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, with speaking words of life, that Christian is contagious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because he's contagious, he's a major threat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and so... You can't have a contagious Christian. The devil can't have a contagious Christian. Or he hates a contagious Christian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's going to try to destroy him. But he can't. Right. He can't. And so, you know. There. Mm -hmm. that, devil. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I got Monica got that fighting attitude. <laughs> She's fighting the right. Just the, yeah, the uh, right. How yeah. much time we got? There, sir. Two minutes. Let's wrap it up, Monica. See what happens when I start jumping in. No, it's good. Uh, where did we leave off? This is particular. This verse, the one we read. Who also hath the yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, this particular verse out of 2 Corinthians 3 6 is an extremely important aspect of the spirit life because its emphasis is more on translating the Word of God through natural and restricted means. Which means that the individual is not necessarily speaking spirit authorized words, but words proceeding out of the unrenewed mind. Mm. First of all, we must understand that the underlying theme of this verse addresses the legalistic application of the word, which is realized through the phrase or term, the letter killeth. In other words, the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament is that you 
had to follow the word exactly as it was written or face the consequences of the word. This is what we would consider a legalistic application of the word to be asked to follow the word to the letter. Can we keep going? Mm -hmm. Instead, it offers a better solution under Christ's redeeming power which allows us to apply the word spiritually. So when mistakes are made, we're not condemned and we, we can repent and instantly receive mercy and restoration. Praise God. Applying the word out of our spirit leaves room for the Christian to repent and receive greater volumes of mercy, giving the believer more creative ways to apply the word through faith mm -hmm. in God. All of this is designed to allow the life of God, or you could say the very nature of God, to flow freely through the believer. So applying the word out of our spirit produces life. Mm. Praise God. Now, we're leaving off on page 65 in... Uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17 is the next verse that will be picked up there. and uh, But we are uh, out of time. So God bless all of you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And may you be strong and overcome every day of your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. If the ministry of the Word has been a blessing to you, please consider contributing to the work of the ministry at www.redeemedcf.breezechms.com forward slash give forward slash online. You can also text to give by texting the amount you would like to give to 602-962-3848. If you have a testimony of how the ministry of the Word has been a blessing to you, please send us a message on one of our social media platforms. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for your continued support of the work here at Redeemed Christian Fellowship.